scrambling for bad things to say about them. They held their event inside a Delaware gym and uh, there were face masks and it was socially distanced, mostly really made for TV with reporters and cameras, no audience. Biden introduced Kamala Harris, his running mate, and explained his selection while Harris shared how she, quote, came to know Joe. Both candidates discussed the need to rebuild the country and stood unified against Donald Trump. And I think Donald Trump just heard the case yeah. that they had against him, especially his handling of the pandemic. And let me tell you, as somebody who has presented my fair share of arguments in court, the case against Donald Trump and Mike Pence is open and shut. When other countries are following the science, Trump pushed miracle cures he saw on Fox News. While other countries were flattening the curve, he said the virus would just poof, go away, quote, like a miracle. So when other countries opened back up for business, what did we do? We had to shut down again. This virus has impacted almost every country. But there's a reason it has hit America worse than any other advanced nation. It's because of Trump's failure to take it seriously from the start. His refusal to get testing up and running, his flip-flopping on social distancing and wearing masks, his delusional belief that he knows better than the experts, all of that is reason, and the reason that an American dies of COVID-19 every 80 seconds. It's why countless businesses have had to shut their doors for good. It's why there is complete chaos over when and how to reopen our schools. Mothers and fathers are confused and uncertain and angry about childcare, and the safety of their kids at school, whether they'll be in danger if they go or fall behind if they don't. Trump is also the reason millions of Americans are now unemployed. He inherited the longest economic expansion in history from Barack Obama and Joe Biden. And then, like everything else he inherited, he ran it straight into the ground. Because of Trump's failures of leadership, our economy has taken one of the biggest hits out of all the major industrialized nations with an unemployment rate that has tripled as of today. This is what happens when we elect a guy who just isn't up for the job. Keith Waya is one of the top trending housemates in the Big Brother Niger Season 5 house. And he is the son of 55-year-old Nigerian billionaire and business mogul, Terry Waya. is famous for being the king of Versace. Due to his unconditional love for the brand, the businessman was nicknamed Mr. Versace. He went under the radar in 2005 after he was arrested for being involved in a case with the former Bayasta state governor, Dipriye Alamisaye. After all the drama, the London police arrested him for money laundering at his North London mansion and was eventually ordered to pay a 1.5 million euros or risk going to jail for 30 months. Despite going under the radar for a while, Terry Wire has been living La Vida local life. Well known as a party head, he posted about his wealth and lavish spending on small girls looking for big gods. The famous socialite once boasted that he only drinks bottled water imported from Paris. And for his 40th birthday party in London, he hosted over 10 Nigerian governors. He is often seen hanging around the likes of Dele Momodu and Dino Melaye. <laughs> The 
Tony had completed his Abuja home, Plaza Versace de Teriwaya, in 2018. A vision he brought to life after falling in love with his favorite suit in the whole world, the Versace suit in the Bojab Arab Hotel in Dubai. In his Abuja mansion, everything is made of Versace, including the marble, lights, bed, chairs, pool, and even ceiling. Apart from lounging in presidential and royal suits in the best hotels when he travels, he loves attending beach parties and yacht cruises, occasionally rocking and showing off his collection of prestige watches. Looking at Terry Wire's lifestyle, he makes it look like Hush Poppy is still a learner in living the Bilonian lifestyle. As a low-key Bilonia living his best life, he often travels from London to Dubai, from Dubai to Italy, Spain, France, and back to Nigeria, all within a month. Without a doubt, Terry Wire is one of Nigeria's Bilonias who is silently living life to the fullest. <laughs> who knows how to have a good time was formerly married to Eno Onafisoye before getting married to Kid Wire's mother Susan Wire, who is a philanthropist, an entrepreneur, politician, business analyst as well as a real estate consultant. Kid Wire is very close to his parents because he surprisingly still lives with them. While he talks about his father a lot on the Big Brother show, rumor has it that he has several siblings. However, his elder brother Tesso Wire is well known. He doubles as the executive director for Valley Agricultural and Food Company. Do you think Terry Wire will use his money to make sure his son Kid Wire wins BB Niger 2020? Are you surprised to see 